Yeah, play around, see what you think on that mare, because this mare's for sale, too. You know, Mary Beth told me to price her at, which I think she said 30 or, I gotta check with her, 25 or 30. Come on, gambler, act like we did this before. All right, hey guys, we're here in Weatherford, Texas. In, uh, in the Big Cow Horse Arena here at uh, Bosky Ranch. It's kind of, uh, kind of fun. Lane and his dad, Lane. The, um, you guys saw him on a vlog, a few, uh, I don't know, a few weeks back or a few months back on their horse, Gambler. He was two then, he's now three. They drove out and they wanted to see him in Texas. So this is the first time they're getting a chance to see this colt ride here. And uh, Matter of fact, uh, this is their first time here at all. So I'm gonna go flip the lights on. We're gonna cruise around a little bit, I'm trying to get bucked off. They said everything was bigger in Texas. The arenas damn sure are. Let there be light. <laughs> So gambler here, I told you guys he's by little Joe Cash. And he's out of Stoney's mother. Stoney's at Wimp School Breeze, my buckskin horse that I've won more money than anybody on, which is you know why I was real excited to get this colt in too. Loping him around, you saw I've, I've got this rope gag on him that Jim Edwards made for me, a little medium port, there's nothing to it. But the big thing is, it just gives him a little pull pressure because this guy is super light in the face. He's a great mover as you can see, but sometimes like, you know, because he's just turning three, when I go to ask him to collect nine times, or sorry, seven, eight times out of a 10, he gives just like that, but every once in a while he kinda, you know, he, he's still learning. He picks his head up and doesn't know where he's supposed to go. And rather than getting in a big deal with him, I just hold steady. And if he pulls up higher, it puts more pressure with that rope over his pole. And this colt's so smart that he's figured out real quick on his own, oh, you know what? That's not a door that I wanna go through, like right there. I just kind of hold, just kind of mess around with him. And that's one thing I remember with Stoney is uh, if I just took my time and showed him stuff, he was much better than if I tried to just draw a line in the sand. So I'm, Gambler here gets to be the benefactor of me being a little older and wiser. Right there, when he raises up, I'm able to just hold steady and that gag does its job. This horse reminds me so much of Stoney. I like about him too, all through all that training, pulling him around and stuff, him getting lost, which is kind of part of learning where he's supposed to be. He just doesn't get that worked up when you're done. I mean, he's for sure, he's trying to get things figured out. Well, but you can tell he's not getting, he's not getting worried. Yeah, you can see he's like forgiving. Yeah. This is kind of that period of time in January, that transition where these guys were taking them from being a colt that you kind of let them, you know, you're, you have a, I mean, I'm gonna have patience no matter what, but you know, you're kind of, okay, we can, we can get it tomorrow, we can get it tomorrow to where now it's kind of, there's a little bit of a sense of urgency that we need to start getting it figured out. Oh, that was so much better. That's what I was after right there. Nice and smooth and free. Right's a little better than the left right now. He's still better to the right than the left, but 
when it's all said and done, I think it's going to be pretty equal. Oh. The big thing right now is just try to make sure you keep it his idea. I could, I could pick him up and make him turn, and he'll fly around fast. But, but that won't hold later on, like when you go put him in a pressure situation. Oh. That side, when he gets locked in, you can just feel like when I ask for speed, he is going to get it. That, that time he's, I think he's going to tear him pretty low too. Like when I, if I go run and stop and turn him on the ends and kind of pick up and hold him, he'll raise up a little bit. But um, he's pretty comfortable like being low. And the people are so nice here in Texas. I've had more people call to welcome me to Texas and want to come over and ride or invite me to come over and ride. She's almost like in the same spot right now. Like she kind of got, you know, she hit her knees a couple times and got a little worried. And so she's kind of got to get her confidence back because that mare can fly. But uh, she's just not 100% sure. Better to the right than the left, usually. But uh, she's just not 100% sh sure she wants to stay in there right now. It's getting better, though. You lay that rein, just squeeze your leg in. Wish you had a set of spurs on for that. Squeeze, and then when she commits, just take it out. Now, if you put your hand down, will she keep turning? Or put it down, then just keep doing it. Let her quit, and then take her. Now you're in with what I'm doing, but not too much inside rain. It's gotta be the neck rain first. Then if you neck rain and she looks to the outside, then you can go to the inside, but you gotta initiate it with the neck rain. Because that's ultimately where you're gonna be when you show, there you go. And just don't help her. When she's turning her head, She's telling you she wants to go that way, stop or walk out. Just let her do it. What happened, you get caught up training the head and stuff, and really it's in between the ears is what you gotta get. Because her natural position is good. Just needs to be pretty black and white. When you move your feet, I leave you alone, and when I don't, you know, when you don't, I'll put pressure on you. Just lay that rein on her and squeeze. Make it real simple and predictable. Squeeze, squeeze, yeah, she doesn't know where to go. Keep squeezing, keep squeezing, keep squeezing. Kick her maybe a little. Keep your hand in the same spot. Keep that the same, even if she backs. So then there, even I know why you're walking forward and resetting. You just release that pressure. Now you're getting further away because now she kind of goes, oh, okay, well, that was, a, that was an option. Just leave that hand there and use that leg. Now you can use a little inside rein, but keep the leg there. Kick, squeeze, 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 squeeze. A little more inside rein. Keep kicking. Keep that neck rein there and then release. You don't want it to turn into a direct rain drill, you know what I mean? All your problems started because she refused the neck rain. Then I go ahead and let her stop, then do it again. And then stop, and then just ask her again. This is like a re repetition thing. It's so hard because you can't, you, you know, you, talk, you just got to read what they're saying. Either it was either because she banged your knees and got a little sore, you know, a little bruise that she kind of said, I don't want to go over there, or just a little too much pressure, one or the other. But the way out is the same, the same no matter what. You've got to back off and just say, nope, just start moving your feet and I turn loose. you have no spurs on. It's good in the beginning. Now that mare's starting to kind of, she is getting desensitized, sacked out. So you either have to take her off the walk or the jog and do the same thing, or you would have to probably put a spur because I'm betting what's going to happen is she's going to get now where you put that leg on, she just doesn't really move much. But I'll promise you, she has feel. It's there. Yeah. Keep playing. Oh. 
Real physical. It's everything he does, he just goes after it hard. Which that'll be the thing, just over time, it's just getting that refined so we get that style, doing things real soft. All right, guys, we gotta get we gotta get onto something else now. But please make sure you keep following so you can see how Gambler's doing. You can see how uh, that's Gambler's owner there, Lane uh, Lane Davis. That's on him. You guys can keep watching and see how he does. I think let's check and make sure they're not they're going down the fence. I don't think anybody's in there, huh? Oh, there's somebody in there. I wonder if they're going down the fence. Are you going down the fence? Are you taking horses down the fence today? Are you going down the fence today? They're going down the fence. Are you taking horses down the fence? I wonder if they're going down the fence.